reading a couple of tweets here. Let me just read out some some of them for you. <laughs> wow. Okay. At metal underscore growl says farm work in KSL third term is the biggest scam in the history of all scams. How can I tell someone to send me substantial work and she's telling me, come beat me? <laughs> ha, someone else at T Mumbi underscore saying, editing KSL farm work is making me want to pull out all my hairs one by one. <laughs> I haven't even started on the footnotes. And then this one is the most hilarious. At Jason underscore Gikungu, who you aliambiwa a compiled kazi, and she did just that. She literally just added everyone's work together. <laughs> no spacing, no justification, no proper citations, no consecutive numbering, just vibes. <laughs> And it's a final week, surely. <laughs> I am just here entertaining myself because I am actually compiling probate and administration project work. If you've not watched my other videos on how we are approaching legal writing and drafting project work, how we are approaching probate and administration farm work, and also one of my classes in the criminal litigation class please please do check them out and i'm just entertaining entertaining myself because i'm having my own challenges compiling but at least mine are not related to the serious issues mentioned here so what i'm learning is um when you assign farm work or project work and you assign a specific section to more than one person make sure those people meet because the challenge now i'm having here is reconciling work from three people who didn't meet but did the work individually so it means i have to read each of the drafts and reconcile them and put them in one document and that's just so much more work because now that question it's taken me three hours just to do half of it because it means I'm reading, referring, rephrasing, putting transition words here and there. And it's it's just more work. So that's just a tip for you when you're doing project work or farm work to make your work easier, especially when it comes to compiling. Uh, but either way, so far so good. Um, I'm looking at some of the cases where I feel that um, cases were not well summarized, like the facts were not well brought out i just go read the case i put in more of the facts and then i check on the citation so so far so good i'm i've only done half of the first question so i need to keep going and then i'm going to take you along as we go up to the time i finish compiling probate and administration project work <laughs>
guys ha so today is 10th of october it is months and when i say months i think it's like two months since i last talked to you on this particular vlog of me compiling probate and administration so on that day after i finished uh doing the work for the day let me tell you what happened i just got overwhelmed swamped with the rest of the projects because uh, this was the third project we were tackling and i was thinking oh i'll be able to compile this work in three days let me tell you it never happened after we finished probate and administration we started i think on civil litigation or criminal litigation i don't even remember and then the more we finished on one we just went to the next and then to the next and then to the next and it's just been a roller coaster of project work so after that day i really never went back to compile this assignment every time i try to go back to compile the assignment there was research to be done for the next unit every time i needed to go to compile this one it was already class time it's just so frustrating but as of now i have been able to put the whole document together and then uh, last week we spent two days last week editing as a group so literally because i was the one who was in charge of this unit i just displayed it on the screen and then people were now giving their suggestions because now i sent the draft of what i had put together to the whole group so they have to look at it in detail like from the cover page to the very end and now when we are discussing is now when they give me feedback and as they give me feedback then i track changes and that's what we're doing for all the units and we did that we finished yesterday yesterday was 9th 9th october yesterday is when i would say we finished if we're going to meet again i think it's just going to be for minor things but major editing as a group we met yesterday which was 9th of october today is 10th of october it's a sunday and now i'm here trying to incorporate the changes so that's what i've been working on and i can tell you for sure it's not easy because you find meeting the minimum the maximum page requirement is going to be harder than you think we have um, 25 page limit and then there was this one question that has one mark but because it's drafting we drafted 12 pages and now i'm thinking to myself it's one mark but there's so much to draft like the work you're putting is not proportionate to the marks you're getting and so we're trying to figure out what to do with the extra i think 12 pages what do we do with with the with the pages so we just decided to put them as annexures and then put the main things the major response to the question as part of the 25 pages so right now i am actually working on now the changes that we talked about i've already finished the cover page <laughs> we we actually that detail we started from the cover page cover page like where there's the school logo that's where we started then we went to the table of contents like that like that up to the last page so that's how we are doing it yeah i don't know how KSL is taking you so far whether you are in my current year this 2021 class or if you ever watch this thing in future how is KSL taking you so far by the time you're watching this video how is it taking you because so far for me i am overwhelmed i'm just like Today is 10th, we're submitting on 26th, so we have 16 days to submit this work and I'm telling you, I cannot wait. But anyway, so much talk, now let me get to the actual work. finally it is 9 52 p.m same day <laughs> and i cannot tell you how relieved i am to do the substantive editing of the work finally 
I have incorporated the changes we discussed. I have run through the draft. I have run the draft through Grammarly. And now what is left for me to do is to finish typing the minutes. And then after that, I'll send it to the group so that they can review. And I think we'll have like our final, but maybe not the final, 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 but at least something substantive. I am just so glad. My target is to finish typing the minutes so that when I start the new week tomorrow on 11th, I'm starting on another unit in terms of minutes. The good thing is that I'm not compiling all the units. We've split the compilation amongst ourselves. I think I mentioned that in a video um, a while back. So tomorrow I'll type the minutes. I'm the one who's writing and typing all the minutes because being a farm leader just comes with so many responsibilities. Ah, but all in all, all for the nine piece. So let me type the minutes. And then uh, once I run the final grammar check, I think we can call it a day. And then I'll, I'll start tomorrow again on another on something else <laughs> oh my god i just want to finish this thing honestly i just want to finish honestly i just want to finish like i've gotten to that point where i just want to finish i will do what it takes to just finish honestly yeah so let me type the minutes statement i am tired <laughs> i'm tired let me tell you there's nothing as frustrating as taking and writing minutes it's just this is so much work ah. but now i've finished typing the minutes so glad i've also edited so the last thing i need to do is to send to the rest of my group to put their signature one thing i forgot to mention is that as you're doing project work you'll find that some of the questions you've been given in the project you find that you've not covered those topics so when you discuss you might respond to the question in a certain way and then as the semester as the weeks and months progress you get to cover that topic and you realize that how you covered is not how you responded to the question is not really the right way so that gives you an opportunity to either review or change the work that you did so like for us there's a question here that we're not 100 percent sure that we tackled properly and we had a class yes oh, maybe i'm forgetting the day we had the class but we, the most recent class on problem and administration we talked about that particular issue and so we met again to discuss and find out whether we tackled it properly. So I have edited, but I'm not so sure we all understood it the same way. So I'm going to have to send it to the group and ask them to review as they sign so that we ensure that we've covered their topic like properly. <laughs> because we answered the question way before we covered the class. And like I told you other, uh, somewhere here that it's been like two months <laughs> since i last uh, vlogged on this particular subject so yeah a lot keeps changing things keep changing but we keep going <laughs> anyway you guys um i really hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this vlog watching how i tackled my assignments 
this is me combining profit and administration work hopefully in the future it will benefit a student who will join the kenya school of law in 2022 and in future to see that it's possible it's very possible to do this thing so we're just hoping for the best and crossing our fingers anyway how is this journey taking you do let me know in the comment section below and i wish you the very very best at the kenya school of law make sure you follow me on instagram at cynthia opera underscore Mungesa. on twitter at cynthia underscore opera check out the stories of young change makers on cynthia and i'll see you in the next episode